Good morning, friends. Uh, in the middle of a really interesting week, we, we've had a fun time. Uh, Mondays and Tuesdays are our slower days, but we've still got tutoring every day. Uh, Wednesday is prayer time, so thankful for those of you who joined us in person or online for that. Uh, we're going to continue in, on Wednesday times, uh, starting to look at the book Fresh Wind, Fresh Fire. And if you don't already have a copy, you can get it on Amazon, or we've got some at the church. Just let me know. I think they'll go work out to about 7 or $8 each, but I'll have that in the bulletin on Sunday. Um, but it's a good book, and it talks about the church and what God wants to do in our midst. So please join us on Wednesday evenings again, either in person or online for that. Uh, then Thursdays, we have teen time. We've got a good group of teens that are learning and growing together, and we're so thankful for them. And then tonight, we have the ES Video Game Challenge. And so if you've got five bucks, you can come play video games from six till ten. And there's refreshments you can buy, and there's also two tournaments that you can get into for $3 each or $5 for both of them. And so we'd love to have you be part of that. Tomorrow... Uh, our teens are going to City Set on a Hill, the street ministry in West Gastonia, and they're going to help serve lunch. And we've already got some adults going. We would love to have you come. Uh, this is a good group of people. I've known Priscilla for years, and she and Jeff Mooney run this program, and they're just trying to follow God and to help people. So it's really right up East Side's kind of work. And we'd love to have you contact Christian or Teresa to be part of that. Hey, Jesus and I will be at a district training, and so they, they do need some help if you can. Uh, they also have breakfast tomorrow morning at 9 at Firestone. You're welcome to join the breakfast group for that. And then Sunday we have worship, and Sunday is back to church Sunday. So if there's somebody who hasn't been coming or hasn't been to church in a while, invite them to join us in a service that's going to be filled with love and full of God's mercy. Thanks so much for your help. Today, we're going to continue looking at those battles God fights for us. Joshua 10 wasn't the only example of God saying, let me take care of this. Way back in Exodus, the children of Israel had left Egypt, and they got to the Red Sea, and the Egyptian army was bearing down on them. And God said, well, I want you to just go to the edge of the ocean. And they did. And then they were still scared. The Egyptians were coming and they had no way out. It was them and the Egyptians in the sea. And God said in Exodus 14, beginning with verse 13, Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. God's word to us today. Not only for the places where we don't know what's going on, but for the places where God has told us God's got it taken care of. I've got a friend, Joshua, who has cancer, and he has been told by God that God would heal it. I don't understand it. I don't see how it's going to happen. But I know that God takes care of us. And every once in a while, God gives us a specific message and says, I've got this in this way. But what we can be confident of is that God always has our best interest in heart. And God is always working for our good. And that God will use everything that happens to help us and others find Christ. Let me pray for you. Lord, some of us are facing health crises and problems that frustrate us and confound us and upset us and hurt us. Some of us are facing work or financial difficulties that seem to get worse by the day. Some of us are facing school and either as teachers or students, we find ourselves in places that are not simple or easy. And all of us are facing a world that seems at times to threaten to tear us away from you. We ask that you would remind us of the promise you give in your word. You've got this. Help us to be still in your presence, to do what you ask, and to see and praise you for your deliverance. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
I hope I see you tonight or you help with see Sit on a Hill tomorrow or we see you Sunday. Have a wonderful weekend. We love you.